future of which we can all be proud, Helen Dyer. Good afternoon to one and all present here. It is with great pleasure that I welcome all of you, honorable panelists and my dear friends to this panel discussion on IEEE volunteer leadership conducted as part of Renaissance 2.0. Renaissance 2.0 is a unique membership development initiative of the IEEE Kerala section organized by the IEEE link supported by the Region 10 Student Activities Committee under the Membership Development Leadership Training. This panel discussion offers us a striking opportunity to traverse through the path taken by our distinguished panelists in their successful journey of leadership and team management. To kickstart the event, we have Mr. Shankar J, Student Activities Committee Chair, and he's also working as Assistant Professor in the Electronics and Communication Engineering Department at UKF College of Engineering and Technology, Kollam, with a total of eight years of teaching and research experience and two years experience in the telecom industry. We welcome you, sir, to initiate the interactive session. Thank you, Iron, uh, for the nice introduction. So I hope I am audible. OK. So uh, please feel to interrupt me at any point uh, if I am suffering from any uh, voice technical issues from my end. So uh, a warm good evening to each and everyone. Uh, as you all know uh, that Renaissance is uh, most awaited event uh, that is nearing the concluding section. So uh, this is a second last session in which uh, uh, you get to uh, have an opportunity with get to interact with the section leadership along with the uh, student activity committee members so uh, earlier we have completed a quick introduction on the session so more the merrier that's our motto so uh, as the first years as well as the second year student leaders of your student branch this mandate that uh, you get to network with the provisional members of IEEE Kerala section so that uh, it will be easy uh, for you if you have facing any bottlenecks by conducting event or for any process that is happening which will enable you to run smoothly especially the SB process this mandate that you get connected with the senior members of IEEE Kerala section along with the student committee so that uh, uh, the smooth transition of the student branch operation takes place. So with that account, uh, we have uh, our section, especially the panelist session on IEEE leadership. So uh, we can hear uh, from the leaders of uh, IEEE Kerala section. So uh, just to uh, have a quick note, uh, uh, the ma'am will be just join after a couple of uh, minutes. Uh, already uh, we have IEEE Kochi subsection Spoko that is happening. So because of that, uh, she might be joining in between. So uh, before I begin, uh, let me come to my duty of to welcome uh, all the panelist members here. So it is indeed an honor and privilege to welcome. So on our absence, uh, first and foremost, I uh, welcome Ms. Sharda Jayakrishnan, Chair, IEEE Kerala Section. Uh, she is the Deputy General Manager of uh, Thermal Point and poll, uh, which as you all know that in medical industry, uh, there is a, uh, we can't think about uh, a life without blood bags, right? So that is a company, Thermop and Paul, it's a, a global company. So it's indeed a great and honor to privilege one of the leaders in a typical section, uh, in leaders in the industry as well. So uh, she has already uh, served as the vice Vice Chair, the Secretary and Treasury of IEEE Kerala Section and many lead roles and she is an active V member also. So it is indeed our honor uh, to have uh, Sharada Krishna as one of the panelist members uh, on a section. So just uh, moving forward, next we have, you have been uh, interacting with Professor Mohammed Qasim is a well-known Professor in, in Kerala itself, I would uh, it's a well-known member and overall uh, the globe so uh, we have Professor Mohammad Qasim, the Vice Chair of IEEE Kerala Section. It's indeed an honor, and he has served uh, a lot more in different societies and different. And he has been uh, there in the Students Activity Committee. So, um, uh, Professor uh, Professor at uh, retired Professor at TKM College of Engineering, and he, he was the founding chair of IEEE Educational Society in Kerala Section. That is that is later at uh, April 2020 and educational activities. He was the chair of the joint chapter IEIES. He was a co-chair of educational 
activities in 2016 and 17 and uh, as chair of students activity committee in 2014 and 15 he was also chair of uh, IEEE PES in 2010 to 2013 and he was uh, all began with the council and has uh, got a numerous recognition in section as well as the recent so it is indeed our great honor to welcome you sir for this uh, panelist discussion sir thank you thank you Shankar. And then next, uh, uh, we have Dr. Gilesh MP, who is the Secretary of IEEE Kerala Section and is, is a professor at the uh, Department, uh, Department of Computer Science in Government Engineering College, Wynard. And he has been very passionate uh, Computer Society member, a senior member in Computer Society as well. So presently, mm -hmm. he, he was actually the Vice Chair and the Treasury of IEEE Malwa Succession. He has obtained a master degrees in Computer Science engineering in IASC Bangalore and PhD from NIT Calcutta. So he got more than 10 years of teaching experience. It's indeed our honor and privilege to have you with among us. Uh, so uh, welcome Gilead, sir. Thank you. And uh, uh, without any further ado, it's uh, indeed a great joy. Personally speaking, uh, Dr. Biju K, who is presently the treasurer of IT class, is a personal mentor of mine. So while I was uh, beginning my role as secretary of IEEE communications communication society is a go-to-go -go person in which uh, i could manage the responsibility that is entrusted by the section as secretary of communication society way back in 2018. so with that uh, uh, he is presently uh, the vice chair and the former secretary of IEEE IAS joint chapter of IEEE He has technically served as various uh, technical program committee member, a, a reviewer, as well as uh, technical sessions. Uh, we have seen a lot of sessions uh, of him in various uh, uh, international events as well. So, um, repeated IEEE. And he has led many IEEE international conference and he's also leading now. So, uh, he is a person that, uh, as a member, that we get to know. So he has completed his uh, master degrees and PhD in power uh, electronics from NIT Calicut, and he got more than 18 years of experience in engineering college across Kerala. So it is indeed our uh, blessed moment to have you, sir, uh, Dr. Uh, uh Welcome you, sir. Thank you, Professor Shankar. Okay. So next, uh, it's indeed uh, my personal benefit of personal uh, uh, thing to invite all the vice chair so i would like to invite when starting from the bottom of kerala uh, so first of all uh, I, in, I i invite as well as i welcome uh, miss josna vr who is currently the vice chair student activity of triangle hum so he has uh, served as a joint secretary in academia especially at the computer society of the class section he has been very active uh, member in computer society and it's indeed a privilege to have you uh, ma'am with uh, the students activity this year and uh, she has obtained this master degree in computer science and engineering from I iit madras so it is our privilege to have you Josna, ma'am uh, among the panelists thank you shankar okay so next uh, moving on this bill to will go into kochi so it's indeed our great uh, joy to welcome uh, miss anu george who is currently the vice chair of students activity in kochi uh, uh, to this panel discussion. So she has obtained uh, the master degree in microwave and radar from Kochi University of uh, Kusat. And uh, she is now uh, in uh, as assistant professor in CAT. So she has just moved from uh, Kochi to CAT. So this is a news this, uh, we got in recent days. So uh, she has joined IEEE during the MTech degree from Kusat. And he has, he has been, she has been the professional member from 2018 onwards. Uh, he has volunteered for RIT Government Engineering College as student and as counselor from 2014 to 20. That is six years of uh, continuous. And she has also received an outstanding branch counselor award from IEEE subsection in 2019. So currently, uh, she is serving as the Vice Students Activity Committee at IEEE uh, OCHI subsection from 2020 onward. So we are indeed great uh, to have you formally welcome to our panelists. Welcome, Anna George. Ma Thank you, Sangha, sir. And next, uh, moving on the tip of the Kerala, that is in the Malabar region. So we have Mr. Shon uh, here. So just to talk a little bit uh, more about the student activity. So student activity has been established over a decade by uh, 
Dr. Uh, by Gomasa, who is itself is an industry. So it's indeed a great joy to have one of the industry panel in uh, student activities. So uh, inputs from him as always the, uh, given a technical edge in the industry inclined programs with the students' activities. So it has bridged the gap about academy and industry as so forth. So with that quick note, uh, I would like to welcome Mr. Shon, uh, the Vice Chair Student Activity Malabar. and. Um, he is working as, as an assistant manager at course uh, 5i and he has been a very active member for i 2 well for a, more than a decade and uh, it's indeed a great joy to have as an industry panel in the student committee so with further ado i welcome mr shon jos to this panel thank you sangal okay so since uh, we have all set as uh, panel members it's indeed a great point for all the student members to interact with such a vibrant panel so the floor is open uh, for any questions. You can put a, uh, a shoot a questions related to with I took the leadership, uh, starting with the experience they have or, or the learning experience they had when they were a student and how the things move forward in I took sector for them. So uh, with that, uh, the floor is open for asking any questions. So um, uh, it's all ready and the student coordinators will be uh, reaching out in the chat box as well. So uh, just to kickstart, uh, it's always best that with this rich panel um, is uh, a general question towards uh, IEEE uh, leadership team. So we have presently Mon Professor Mons Kasim sir, uh, Biju sir and Gilay sir. So uh, uh, it will be great to kickstart uh, this session meeting with your uh, IEEE venture, how you move forward uh, in IEEE venture and what will be your key benefit that you, you have been uh, included, especially uh, in the point of student leaders. So it would be great that if you could start, uh, we can have this uh, talk for like two minutes. Uh, so first I would request uh, Mohamed Kasis to the dais for sharing your uh, experience. Uh, we know that you have a vast experience, so it will be uh, great if you could share what will be the key benefits uh, being a student leader from student branch. Over to you, Kasim sir. Yeah, thank you, Shankar. And uh, um, today is our uh, section volunteers and uh, uh, student volunteers and all participants of this session. And uh, uh, to brief, I started my career uh, with IEEE in 1986 at uh, TKMCE as part of the formation of the TKMC student branch. And I was a counselor uh, for four years from 88 to 92 at TKMC. Then uh, after uh, I left, uh, T uh, no, I took five years leave and left to Saudi to work as a design engineer. And uh, after coming back from Saudi, the student branch, uh, no, uh, I was only the uh, counselor for four years from 88 to 92. Then after that, um, uh, Sajit was the counselor. Uh, he was uh, student branch uh, chair uh, during 88 and 89. And we conducted a very large or very good event, namely National Science and Technology meet in uh, October 1989. And it was a week long program within four national seminars at that time. And uh, all the college was open to students of uh, nearby schools as, as part of exhibition. And like that, uh, we had a very good event book exhibition and so on. And uh, IEEE student branch uh, became a number one in uh, Kerala. And uh, we bagged the student branch, outstanding student branch chair award, as well as the outstanding uh, counselor award in that for the year 89 and 90. And uh, no, after some time, uh, this uh, chapter went down because of the, no, no, everything uh, depends on the people working behind the chapter. One, there should be a faculty member, one or two faculty members to motivate the students. We can have any number of faculty members, no problem for that. But uh, somebody, some, some initiatives and some uh, promotions that that is to be there always to motivate the students and once the students gets in track then they will take up they will look after the sb as uh, perfectly all right and it goes so fantastic and no uh, i came back in 2002 and the branch was inactive 
and uh, uh, in 2008, uh, our Golden Jubilee celebration was going on at TKMC, the 50th year of uh, TKMC. I was also a student of TKMC for my, uh, at that time, BSc Engineering. Then I joined uh, CET and uh, after uh, completing my PG, I joined TKMC as a faculty in 81. So, uh, in 83, I was there as a faculty and I saw, I witnessed and I participated in the Silver Jubilee celebrations and in uh, 19, uh, this, uh, sorry, 2008, the Golden Jubilee celebrations came and I feel that uh, the, the, uh, I should do something. I should contribute something to the Golden Jubilee celebrations. And then I had the idea that uh, uh, why why can't I you know, reactivate the student branch? And then I started, I took the, uh, my membership also in between dropped. Uh, when I went to Saudi, I dropped my continuity of membership. Then I, I took the membership again in uh, this uh, 2008. Okay, then uh, I worked some or I started initiated membership development activities within the college among the students and we reactivated the SB in 2008 and we conducted the first uh, no so many events as part of the golden jubilee celebrations and the first ever student transitional elevation and partnership step that was conducted in uh, TKMC in October 2010 and that was the beginning of the step event in Kerala section. Now, uh, uh, after that, as uh, Shankar was, uh, I was again counselor for 2008 and 2009. Then uh, I, I was asked to take the responsibility of uh, Power and Energy Society Kerala chapter in 2010 by then uh, the section chair, uh, Mr. Shashi PM. Uh, he was also an alumni of TKM and I agreed and I joined PES and, and I, I took the charge of uh, the chair. And from 2010 onwards, I, I am an executive committee member of uh, Kerala section and currently the vice chair. So uh, what I observed is we were having uh, 10 engineering colleges in the 1980s and 1990s. That is before 2000, we were having IEEE student branches in 10 engineering colleges, starting with College of Engineering, Duandram, then NIT, then QSAT, then uh, TKM and NSS College of Engineering on the same day, that is 26 number 86 then MA College of Engineering, then uh, then uh, this College of Engineering, Changanur, and so Government Engineering College, Trishur, and one more is that, that is a Nurul Islam College of Engineering. So what happened is, you know, out of, now these colleges are still very active, okay. Uh, some went down, but even now, uh, you know, after uh, reactivation, all the colleges are uh, standing at the top. And... Uh, uh, after uh, say 2002, too many engineering colleges uh, was uh, uh, given approval in uh, around Kerala, and too many engineering colleges started uh, 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 the activities. No new engineering colleges, and as part of that, the membership activation, and uh, we know that a link was uh, initiated in 2000. Five with the with the thought of uh, um, Dr. Nisha Kurula and the College of Engineering Changano team, and uh, they they started its uh, its uh, formal inauguration at uh, FISAT in 2005 with the Gogumar sir as the first president of Ling, and uh, the the purpose of the Ling was to uh, interconnect the student branches across Kerala. Before that, only student branch activities was there. And by the formation of LINK, inter-student inter branch activities and activities across Kerala, that is the joint activities that all happened. And uh, up to 2009, uh, Gobo Marsar was the president. Then 2010 and 11, one Jason A.B. Sabo was the president. Sorry, uh, he was the, and then that, uh, yeah, he was the president of this LINK. Then 2012-13, uh, Mini Ulanat was the president, and then 2014-15, I was. Then 16-17-18, and Shabari. Then 19-20, as you know, Nandan, and now Shangar. Okay, so this is the uh, track of our link. It is a local integrated network of IEEE Kerala section, and uh, so local integrated network of uh, students of IEEE Kerala section. So. Uh, so, all the student branches were uh, connected and uh, as we know, uh, these are divided into three hubs, Kerala, the, uh, uh, no, so uh, 
means Trivandrum, Kollam and Patranthita coming under Crown Guru Hub and uh, Potem, Alapura, Ernaulam, Trishur and uh, Idiki coming under Kuchi Hub and the remaining six districts coming under Malabar Hub. And uh, this uh, uh, link that is uh, connecting the student branches, it was very fantastic and uh, so the connectivity and the connectivity among the student branches, the connectivity among the student members of Kerala section and, and such very good uh, events happen because of the uh, formation of link. And now we are having hub, uh, student branch level events, then hub level events, then state level events. And there is a very clear structure for the activities of student branches in Kerala with the support of link and the student activity team. That is a SAC chair we do have three v VSAC chairs we do have and the student team is there and so when the student teams are there then the, the, the support from the students it was a great and fantastic uh, experience that I had and as I told uh, when I become uh, this uh, chair of PES for four years uh, uh, at the time of joining it was only with 14 members uh, on roll and uh, with four years, uh, I uh, the PS Kerala chapter bagged uh, two times membership growth award, then uh, 2012 outstanding chapter award, then 2013 PS website award, and and now the PS chapter, you no, know, is number one in world ranking on membership count as well as in activities, and then similarly the IAIE PLS joint chapter. Its growth was uh, from 18, 19, 20, 21. Now it is grown to the second largest uh, chapter across the world with membership count and activities. So you, we, we all observed that th th this is uh, made uh, possible because of the student, the professional team and the student team work for the activities of the student branches, student branch chapters, then the chapters and the uh, other yeah, entities means the standing committees. We do have some 13, 14 standing committees and we do have uh, this uh, affinity groups, uh, namely the life member affinity group, the women in engineering affinity group and this uh, young professional affinity groups and the consultants and network also. So in, in women and engineering affinity group, that affinity group is also number one in world ranking in terms of membership count and the activities. So, so now Kerala is uh, in number two position in membership count and uh, as uh, maybe uh, all of you know or few of you know, know that we back the region 10 membership growth award for 2021 also. So that means last year our membership uh, increase was very great, very good and we back the membership growth award. And currently, as on today, just now I checked and I found that uh, we do have 10,535 members on roll. And uh, in that, uh, we have 8,656 student members and 379 graduate student members. So that means, uh, say, 85% of the membership in Kerala is uh, now uh, the student members and the graduate student members. So, and we do have senior members uh, 277, then life seniors 24 and members 1093. And so this, this in total 10,535. This is because of the combined effort of all the entities, basically the section entities, the standing committees, then the chapters. And we currently we have 13 chapters, independent chapters and one joint chapter that is the IAEPLS joint chapter and four affinity groups and uh, 80 plus student branches, active student branches and nearly 220 plus active student branch chapters. And uh, as of now, I have seen that we have active 241 chapters, means including the society chapters and the student branch chapters. So uh, the, 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 the vibrancy and the growth of our Kerala section is because we are all together. We are working for our section as a single entity or as as a unit and and with harmony so this yeah, is to be sir. continued and any support for any student branches that we are always ready 
we are willing to support all the student branches for their student branch activities or the st student branch chap chapter activities or the affinity group activities. So we, we can offer full support to all the student branches. So I think uh, yes, sir. an introduction yeah, from my side. Yes, Thank sir. you. Chandra. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Thank you for the detailed introduction. So. Uh, so anyway, uh, just of what Sarah has said is that uh, whatever that we commit for a volunteering role, uh, we should be uh, showing the belongingness towards its growth as well as we should work towards as a team. So this is uh, just that Sarah has shared is. So next to moving um, on with uh, Dr. Kilesh MP, uh, the present uh, secretary of IEEE Kerala section. So it will be great that if you could share your uh like vision your mindset in which that made to be a part of IEEE Kerala section and you are way till the secretary of IEEE Kerala section so what was your thought what was the activities we all know that you are very vibrant in come to society as well as technical person as well so we would like to hear your uh, uh, growth from student uh, till uh, the secretary of IEEE Kerala section over to Gilles sir yeah, am I audible <laughs> Yes, yes. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. Good evening, all. So, uh, when as, as somebody with uh, Kasim Service said, he was involved as in IEEE as a student member. But in fact, I was not involved as a student member at all. And I I actually missed this op that opportunity of being involved in the IEEE activities of a student branch. Uh, because I don't know whether there was a student branch at all in my college, but uh, later I know the, the the college had established a good student branch. But when I joined uh, GEC, why not? Uh, after my PG, then I found that there was informal IEEE events going on in the college, and uh, even the college used to receive the newsletters from Kerala section. And then I tried to get associated with the Kerala section and I understood that there's no formal student branch established in GC why not and I was uh, before that I was actually I mean in 2010 uh, IEEE Malabar subsection was formed and since I was a member of IEEE by then I was receiving uh, you know, e naught is some information. I, I don't know whether it was e naught called e naught is that time, but I was to get some information. So I was a member, and I used to, I started getting involved with the Malabar subsection activities as in the Exicom, and I used to attend each and every event that was organized by I to play Malabar subsection. And then, then uh, I didn't really have any connection with I to play Kerala section at that point of time, and then I contacted the a, a SAC at that point of time that was by email and formally filed a petition to start a student branch and at that particular year I remember there were a few very vibrant students who took up the activities and were very vibrant and you know they're very passionate in you know uh, organizing events and they and the idea behind this whole activity was that these students you know I was talking about those students usually uh, used to go and attend high to play events at several colleges and used to participate in competitions and used to win prizes as well. And they actually wanted to <clears throat> you know, uh, spread that culture in the campus or you know, that they actually wanted to communicate the fact to their, their uh, peers and then uh, they asked me uh, why can't we go at formal and then that's where it all had begun and since then as Kasim sir also saying there was a you know, there was always a dip that can happen in a activity you know vibrancy of a uh, student brand uh, unless 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 you do really uh, you know uh, nurture a good a group of you know, young volunteers or leaders and that kind of a sustainability is what matters so when you are uh, maybe you know mentored by your uh, seniors or you know, uh, those uh, your previous leaders of your student brand it's your duty to you know convey the same to the juniors and build that or uh, try to mentor them and bring up bring up their 
leadership capability and hand over this, the, cap the responsibilities of the SPEs to this is properly to the remaining students. And I and I'm proud to say that at present, uh, the college has got uh, 105 members, which is you know which I you know I, I didn't even I, you know, <laughs> I couldn't even dream of at that point of time. And, and last year it was only 30, I guess, and it was uh, gone to such a height that. You know, uh, uh, the activities are becoming very vibrant, and uh, and I, I have a few things to mention. To mention one as uh, regarding the uh, the passion for volunteering, and you have a lot of takeaways from being getting involved with the IEEE activities. And the first one being the networking that you get. You used to you actually get connected with uh, peers. I mean students of other colleges and professionals uh, many a times you get to know uh, professionals uh, who are really working in the area of your interest and uh, occasionally you get in the kerala section used to organize conferences you know uh, uh, flagship conferences wherein the students student volunteers contribute a lot and they also get involved with uh, several activities and they get to know many eminent people who either work in in india or abroad and they do. I mean, I've seen many. I've many uh, example to examples to show you who have you know actually benefited by, in terms of higher studies and employment in that sense as well. And another one is the kind of leadership qualities that you build by getting involved in those these activities and the kind of you know uh, the you know, the humanitarian uh, you know, or you know, the empathy that you you know build in yourself. To understand others and to know the need of uh, maybe your friends or maybe the common men out there, and then come up with solutions uh, for technology solutions. I would say technology solutions for them, uh, which actually you know is in line with the uh, IT tag technology for humanity. That's all. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Gile, sir, uh, for this is concise one. So just to summarize on. Uh, is that the, all the student leaders here is a wonderful opportunity that we have already started the IEEE journey and the importance of SB uh, is uh, very key in uh, developing the mentoring skills as well as the mentored experience from your seniors to develop your leadership and most importantly whatever you do you do out of the passion of volunteering so there were key takeaways like networking social networking the ability to share the leadership as well as most importantly what Gilesa said you started to empathize uh, with people and you start build your eq so that is very key in IEEE motto itself advancing humanity advancing technology for the humanity anyway thank you Gilesa, sir, uh, for this uh, valuable thought and moving on uh, we have dr biju k who is a, a treasury of IEEE gala section and my close mentor uh, why? Because since I have been inducted as an IEEE Exico member in 2018, I don't know where to start. So one of the main connection I had was Dr. Bijuke, who really helped me a lot how to manage the IEEE society. So that is a journey I begin in IEEE Kerala section. And very on this account, I would like to thank uh, Dr. Samir Hassan. Um, uh, my, my sir is the one who has given the opportunity, and thank you, Mr. Shaim Baker, who is who, who was the chair of IEEE Young Professional to identify me to uh, see me as an able volunteer deed so so without any further ado uh, there is a lot to share i know sir uh, but with time constraint it would be great that uh, uh, how was your journey and as student leaders present here what is the key takeaway that you would like to share with the students over to you uh, dr bjk thank you uh, sangar yeah uh, my case is all, also uh, similar to uh, the case with uh, dr gilesh i was also not a student member uh, even I didn't know whether uh, a student branch really existed uh, during my VTAC tenure at uh, RIT Kote. Uh, I started uh, working in IEEE since my uh, post-graduation uh, in 2010. And I really started volunteering uh, in IEEE in, in my college, not even as a branch counselor, because uh, at that time, some other faculty was in charge of the branch counselor still. Uh, I was very active in all the student branch uh, activities uh, in my college. That was basically the starting point of my uh, activities in IEEE. And uh, uh, with uh, being active in IEEE, and I, I, I got the opportunities to uh, 
uh, to attend the annual general body uh, and other uh, of course other uh, activities uh, conducted by IEEE Kerala section also. But the, the turning point I could uh, say is the, uh, the a couple of annual general body meetings uh, uh, I could attend of IEEE Kerala section where uh, I got the real uh, opportunity to get uh, interacted with uh, the leaders in IEEE Kerala section and. Uh, so many other, uh, once you come to an annual general body meeting, you could say so many stalwarts in IEEE as well as other uh, technical fields, uh, you can uh, get in touch with them. And uh, you, you will get uh, really a, a good feel what IEEE is. Uh, and uh, you will come to know that it is the ideal uh, platform for you uh, to get a, a network with the people, the top people, the technocrats, uh, uh, at least in the Kerala, and uh, you 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 get a, a real feel on uh, what is really or on the what way you should uh, uh, be your you should get nurtured as a professional uh, member or in the in your career in your career because uh, while we stay at uh, college we usually do the teaching process and and if you stick on to that uh, that kind of uh, activities uh, you won't uh, get a real feel on of what is going outside or what is uh, what is a real uh, job of an academician other than simply teaching and uh, you will get a better feel on uh, what is basically research and what is the uh, importance of uh, doing research you will get a lot of uh, you will uh, you will get an opportunity to meet with a lot of uh, uh, great researchers industrialists and uh, and uh, what i personally feel is that uh, all the our student volunteers also uh, should uh, make uh, or should find that kind of opportunities and uh, make utilize uh, uh, that kind of uh, opportunities and bring themselves uh, up uh, uh, once uh, as they graduate uh, and uh, and uh, if uh, our, our uh, these attendees who are uh, these attending this session i think uh, most of the students are uh, most of the attendees are undergraduate students and uh, they may be most of you may be some uh, some kind of uh, office bearers in your student branch and uh, uh, what my my first request to you is that uh, you sh first you should be uh, uh, really uh, kind of uh, or you should be aware of what are the various responsibilities uh, interested on you being a uh, being a volunteer or a, a or a, an office bearer in your student branch and uh, and at least you should try to you, you can uh, go beyond that there is no sky in uh, there is no limit uh, for you to grow in night play only the sky is the limit so but uh, being a, a, an office where you should be aware of the, uh, the responsibilities entrusted on you so you have a lot of uh, options to come to know about that of course there may be some membership development sessions there may be some volunteer training sessions being conducted in your school in addition to that you can definitely go through the IEEE MTA site where all the uh, the volunteer training uh, tools are there, video lectures, video courses are there, some other kind of PDF materials are there. And you, I request all of you to go through that material. And another uh, very good uh, resource available in IEEE for, uh, for office bearers and volunteers is the Center for Leaders, Leadership Excellence, uh, CLE. And I, I would request all the uh, this IEEE uh, student volunteers uh, to go through that. Uh, there is uh, plenty of uh, uh, resources available in that CLE in the form of um, uh, text materials, uh, video kind of materials, uh, and and uh, uh, so once you uh, so there are so many courses there, and uh, once you get uh, mastered over these uh, these various uh, courses available there, um, uh, definitely your perspective uh, will uh, get improved uh, to a better level. And one more uh, advice I want to make out of my experience. Now, uh, as you might be aware of, I am working as a treasurer of IEEE Kerala section now. But uh, my entry to IEEE Kerala section executive was, uh, was uh, the secretary of uh, PES Kerala chapter. And uh, then I moved on to IAE PLS joint chapter as secretary, then uh, promoted to vice chair. And uh, now uh, uh, it's a role of uh, a different kind of role as a uh, treasurer of IEEE Kerala And you know uh, the, the role of a uh, treasurer is a little bit different uh, compared to a, 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 a secretary or a vice chair or that kind of role in a technical society. 
even then um, i am still very much active in my my relevant uh, kind of societies like power energy society industry application society industrial electronic society power electronic society this is a kind of uh, uh, kind of passion basically you need in entrepreneur so you basically you cannot restrict that is um, um, my biggest advice to you i want to give to you you cannot restrict to restrict yourself to some uh, some kind of one role or two role like that so you can you can if you have the real passion or if you have the real interest you can volunteer in nitroplane in any level so you can be very active in technical society same time you can be uh, so you can be very active in general kind of thing like uh, like uh, be active in link or be active in uh, that mga various roles in mga that kind of level say maybe in hydroplane kerala section or india council or even some some of our volunteers are being present in art and level also so um, uh, so you can be so being a um, uh, being an engineer or a technocrat we have to be we have to be very active in our respective societies that is uh, that is essential for your uh, for you being a uh, very for being uh, uh, updated in your uh, respective technical societies same time you can be active in other uh, uh, some kind of administrative uh, roles also so i would request all the student members to be uh, active in uh, um, uh, in technical your respective uh, tech so if you are an electronic and communication engineer you can be active in the communication society antenna propagation society robotics and uh, that ras society so if you are an electrical engineer power energy society power con society to say application society similarly computer society computer science and engineering students can be active in computer society that can uh, uh, the, you being the student members you should uh, utilize all these uh, technical uh, these opportunities uh, available in this uh, various technical uh, societies also same time you can be very active in your uh, student branch general kind of uh, leadership uh, activities that kind of uh, roles also so thank you sender uh, right now i am stopping with this thank okay you. so thank you uh, dr biju sir uh, for that valuable thought so summarizing uh, like from uh, biju sir's experience and thought it's all started with agm so uh, it's a meeting as well as the networking of the professional member is a key uh, area that sara has already ta talked about so networking either we are networking professionals or you are trying to reach out for the researchers it's indeed to great that we need to seize an opportunity that is presented uh, before us so as students you should also seize your opportunity while uh, being an office bearers and ensure that uh, to add to that point uh, in this section uh, so far so now we didn't have any volunteer who sees that opportunity to ask questions definitely when you do that you are the first volunteer that ask question definitely that name of the volunteer strikes between all the panelist members so this is an opportunity to seize another opportunity to seize as well so definitely when you are meeting uh, with sir gilesh sir or kasi sir uh, or any others it can always quote that during the science 2.0 we had a very good panel discussion about it to leadership the, there is i was the one who started asking questions so you can just introduce like that so this is another open invitation for the seizing opportunity that right, right away so to adding on to what biju sir has already mentioned you should also explore it to play resources so, so sir has talked about the clearly continuous learning platform to add on that uh, we have iln also and you, you if you are an ai enthusiast you need to work on data sets we have data port also that is provided by it to play and we have lot of certification courses so Uh, in general what sir has told that being starting as exco member in it uh, power and energy so say i secretary and the meanwhile i was secretary at uh, communication society so it's indeed that uh, whatever that we are passionate in a technical area we should also be a volunteer to a part so that we are serving the member of that particular community as well as we are updating that upskilling our technical knowledge in that area. these are the things that what uh, we have taught about the students so we have really cataloging it cataloging it catalog in this thank you mr sir for all these points and moving forward it's indeed a great honor privilege to all the chairs here so let's start since in the introduction we have started with josna ma'am it's indeed that we can start from the manavar okay so uh, to to add that uh, on next i would like to uh, welcome mr shon jos Uh, so it's indeed uh, what a point i would like to say that uh, being an academician myself we always say that it's always essential to have an industry academician interaction but what we do is that at the end of the academic or the semester what we all plan is that we ask some industry person to come and have a quick introduction 
So it is indeed uh, uh, a challenging situation as well as it's an opportunity present for the students, but it's not throughout the semester. So in this year, we are fortunate with the Stone Joe's who is from the industry to give the industry element to the students actually. So uh, my question to you, Mr. Sean Jones, is related with the student activity and your uh, industry perspective. So uh, this is the question. Uh, so this is a this spot on question. So the students activity and also students activity that you have observed now and the previous year. And uh, we have seen a lot of vibrant uh, programs in line with the industry, especially to target that awards as well. So what is your thought on? uh the programs that we have seen so far what is the as student need uh, how when you are planning for an event how we can uh, include uh, the industry aspect as well so this is a question to you i hope the question is clear uh, over to you Shun. yeah so, thank you thank you Shandar, and uh, thank you for inviting me to this uh, panel discussion i uh, hope i'm audible yes you're audible okay uh, so since you are specifically about industry okay let me try to answer in that that point uh, so when we organize an event, uh, so the, the point I used to emphasize when, when we do have discussion about organizing event in uh, Malabar Hub, that you should give focus uh, to skill development. Okay, uh, so there is a chance that you, you organize some one kind of event, say it, it could be a panel discussion. The next event uh, could be a talk. So the, the skill that you are sharpening as an organizer is uh, all about organizing an event or inviting a speaker. Right? So when you organize an event, uh, the the suggestion I would I would give it give to the new student uh, uh, volunteers is that uh, try to organize different type of events uh, such a way that uh, there is an upskilling of yourself. Okay. Uh, for example, if you if you go for a, a panel discussion uh, now. Uh, try to uh, bring bring the panel members who are very much up to that that topic. That is one thing. Now after that, then go for an event where uh, you you do uh, some sort of say coding. For example, right now uh, at Malabar we are uh, organizing a Go Extreme program in in, in association with uh, uh, IEEE Student Branch of MES. So in that particular event, uh, the organizers are also part of. Uh, training the students uh, uh, different competitive uh, uh, programming. Uh, now, when you compare to the first event and the second event, the first event students were much more uh, running uh, behind the getting more participation or running behind getting more speakers. The second event, it was the participation was limited to very less, say 10 to 20, and uh, we, we already got them. And where the organizers are much more focused in uh, okay, uh, to to learn learn competitive programming and to uh, teach them that. Okay. So uh, that that is uh, that is another 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 perspective of event. Uh, now a third thing is when when we say event, uh, uh, I would I would like to call uh, the the activity uh, the things what we do in IEEE as an activity rather than an event. Okay, so uh, when we say activity, it could be an event, it could be a project, uh, and one of the best thing I I could find. Uh, uh, the kind of activity we can do in IEEE is uh, the, the the Kerala Rescue Road in Portal, right? So uh, if you see that is not an event, right? It's a it's from a skill point of view, there were few volunteers who developed a portal, right? Anyone can develop a portal, but what happens is uh, that portal need to be adopted by the respective authorities, right? So there were students who focused uh, uh, to to. Uh, to enrich the portal, uh, say, uh, getting collaboration with the government. There were volunteers who made sure that we are getting more of input to the portal. Now, you you work with a product, right? So, when you come up with a portal, uh, you are getting a, a, an exposure in product development, in product management. Uh, so, so when we when we call it call from an activity point of view, uh, we should, we should uh, go for events so that we will get the uh, organizing skill. We should go for activity where we get uh, 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 upskilling uh, upskilling option. You should go for other activity. For example, uh, uh, say uh, now nowadays a lot of student branches are going for this uh, rural electrification or uh, digital literacy programs where uh, you are kind of uh, putting your hand in in uh, to to showcase your technical skill. So. Uh, from an industry point of view, uh, see uh, the number of certificates or number of events you participate doesn't matter. 
it always matter what skill you gain uh, after organizing or attending the event or uh, you should you should be able to showcase that you have a particular skill uh, by organizing an event or participating in it. Uh, hope uh, uh, i answered your question sandal yes yes definitely definitely so uh, so just to summarize uh, whatever that event you organize it is this to be like upskilling uh, the volunteers as well as the participants alike and uh, we should always focus on the uh, quality instead of the quantity because when you have the quality naturally the quantity that comes in so the focus will be in the quality and uh, the main aspect being an industry specific that i would found out is that uh, you in, in indirectly develop uh, product uh, as well as uh, how to manage this so uh, being in uh, uh, many elite position in the industry uh, similarly, while organizing an event and activity definitely cultivates an habit of uh, managing people as well as people skills, as uh, uh, Gilesar has already told about being empathetic, including EQ, and definitely uh, when you are involved in some sort of an humanitarian work, you develop some portal, like you said, that uh, rescue dot in which was related with the player effort. So definitely that is a product. So uh, we should always look at what you are going to be a leaders and what you have done which is actually is quite sellable in the uh, industry perspective anyway thank you mr Sean, for that uh, elaborate uh, talk on the industry perspective in the next uh, now we're moving on uh, with uh, uh, anu jotness uh, so uh, the main highlight being uh, uh, she was actually being a consistent branch counselor for uh, more than six uh, years continuously and being very active and uh, what uh, the student peers used to say is that uh, she is very supportive in active volunteers. So uh, as uh, an experience as a counselor in directly handling students as well as uh, directly with the Kochi team. So what is the uh, key points that you would like to share to the new student leaders that will be leading the student branch for tomorrow? What are the points that uh, you would like to share uh, from your experience? Over to you, Anu. Yes, Angga, sir. Okay. okay, you are uh, thank audible. You for, yes, okay. Uh, thank you for giving me this opportunity. Actually, uh, uh, Kasim sir, Biju sir, and uh, Sean sir has already explained so many things about the leadership. I would uh, like to, uh, if any uh, student is having any question, then uh, it will be more convenient for us to, if they want to know something, I think uh, let me move on to some discussion style also because uh, uh, for a few minutes I will explain my experience when I was in uh, as a student member. I don't know uh, about much benefits uh, as Kasim sir and uh, Biju sir said the AGMs were the most uh, uh, awaited events and uh, okay that time offline events were there and uh, that kind of things uh, went on but later uh, nowadays what i felt as i worked with the student branch uh, in the six years uh, i joined ieee uh, 2014 as student branch counselor and uh, those time in rit it was a little bit down the student branch working was little bit down and as kasim sir said i particularly i i took my volunteer i took as a challenge uh, so that the students can uh, be raised towards the uh, perspective of good perspective of this ieee benefits and later on what i see in the last three years my first three years i actually it was uh, something like planting a tree and watering and nourishing it but the last three years i was able to see the full-fledged student branch activities and uh, now uh, what i am observing is uh, the students uh, who were performing in the past years actually the students now working with that student branch is gaining from what they have done earlier so each student leader attending me is actually uh, you are 
planting or um, uh, making a basement for the uh, next generations to uh, come and enjoy the benefits of the technical and uh, uh, joy of volunteering actually and many of our students have been recognized as globally outstanding volunteers and uh, we in we also for, especially for the women in engineering stream we have got many awards last year and our uh, power uh, as biju sir said you should or uh, along with this uh, the responsibility you should also maintain your keen interest area so that um, uh, it's, um, in our case uh, normally we call our students along with if they are associated with ias chapter they call it as uh, the student name with ias nitin ias usually call the chair of that ias chapter and i think uh, uh, from the first days and when he counts him uh, from, uh, till the last day he has been grown towards that name and uh, in our rit a case of rit actually uh, we have received so many awards uh, for the each and every chapter that particularly will give you uh, the uh, more and more uh, volunteering from the other student also no need to call them and then there won't be any question about the how much of amount you should pay for this the amount doesn't matter when you get recognized and many travel grants were awarded for many students uh, and uh, many scholarships were received and uh, now uh, now last week i think we have received for the uh, ras chapter around 2000 dollars we have received globally so if you get uh, money from the uh, from a global organization then it will be benefit for your institution also then the institute will support the teacher and support the students for all the activities so it all is like a circle uh, so one once you are pushing to in uh, to it and uh, one thing i would uh, say that when i was a branch counselor i it was a 24 by 7 uh, working uh, all the time we were think this and i used to tell my students also you should talk with your friend circle also i triple the adesh uh, the i triple should be a topic when you come together uh, then only uh, because when we friends get together we discuss about uh, what all things we are interested so that kind of relationships also will uh, increase uh, your passion towards technology and uh, during the last 3 years many uh, events were also happened such that uh, flood came corona and all those things where engineers have to be uh, uh, um, get into the ground and do something that time also as the uh, many uh, were received for the flood case as we have seen our students has created the website and the as the cm uh, honored them with the certificates and all so the recognition more and more uh, you get recognized uh, and uh, more and more your joy of volunteering will be increased so always remember it's a kind of volunteering and uh, leading the to so that the others also can follow you and uh, i would uh, like to hear from anybody can ask uh, a question because uh, till this one hour nobody has uh, raised a question uh, so uh, ms uh, we have yes. a couple of questions so i thought that we will hear from joseph okay, and we will move on move uh, on okay, okay. To okay. The so we have a couple of questions okay. anyway it's great uh, so i would like to thank mr navneet for the first question definitely that name will be there uh, because he sees the opportunity Okay, thank you, uh, Anish George, for sharing your, your words of wisdom. That uh, itself shows that how bonded you are with students. So the key point I would like to share with the student community is what Mr. Ma'am said is that uh, the main rapport with the team is important. So uh, with that you can create wonders and you can have the quality events. And with quality, definitely uh, you will uh, get appreciation. So because you should. not run behind success but you should do what is best for the others as well as to ensure the quality is maintained so definitely you will be appreciated for the efforts uh, you don't run for the appreciation but you go for the efforts that you put forth definitely uh, with that sort of appreciation uh, you will get definitely get motivation and global recognition as anija was always boosts motivation so that was one of the question but definitely we will take up with the panelists so thank you anija was for sharing those words of wisdom with your experience with students and moving on with uh, uh, jos josna ma'am uh, ma'am 
So, Jostna, ma'am, uh, she is assistant professor in the Department of IT in Government Engineering College, Barton Hill, and uh, she is also very close to student uh, members as well as she is very uh, she, students are said she is very lovable and she supports every uh, events. Uh, so that is a quick quality that she has in organizing the students that wrap report that we have. So uh, over to you, uh, Jostna, ma'am. It would be great that you could share your experience uh, with the new student leaders that is coming up in the uh, uh, in the student branch your chapters your chapter as well as uh, your experience and uh, your uh, well wishes for new student leaders in which they should be really focused into as growing into student leaders for tomorrow over to uh, those members thank you shankar uh, i thank the organizers for inviting me for this panel discussion and uh, um, when, when I talk about my experience with IEEE, I, I think I got more opportunity to work with students other than my college students. That's the opportunity I'm getting these days. Uh, at first, I started with my uh, college students. They approached me for starting Computer Society chapter at uh, Barton Hill, and they need a faculty advisor and they approached me and uh, I said yes and I started along with my students and uh, earlier I had a membership but I didn't volunteer I didn't do anything I don't know uh, what to do with the membership and I don't know what a faculty can do in IEEE I, I, I didn't get much opportunity also and I didn't know uh, any about a faculty's role in IEEE I thought it's for students and and also for uh, industry people so that's that's my uh, first that was my perspective but later uh, uh, because of my students i i came to know that uh, okay uh, a faculty advisor uh, is a role i can do and i can do something with my students and uh, we grabbed many awards uh, being the uh, starting uh, chapter uh, the the um, from Kerala section, and we got some awards, and we got uh, we got uh, more energy. So as as Anu Miss told, we whenever we get recognized, we'll get more energy, and we started working more. And uh, and later, as um, Biju sir said, I uh, came for Kerala section one. Uh, Councillor meet was there. I came there, and I met all the giants in IEEE Kerala section. And I, I got the opportunity to talk with them. I got the opportunity to um, listen to the uh, panel discussions there. I, I came uh, that that time only I saw Shankar, Kasim sir, um, Sharda ma'am, uh, Samir sir, and many. Uh, I, I, I not Samir sir and Nandan and all. Uh, uh, before I know them, but I didn't. Uh, I was not very close to them, and uh, that. That meeting changed my life, and I told my students uh, that your your volunteering should not end up in college. You have to go outside college, and you have to go and volunteer in link activities. You have to go to uh, even you can reach up to art and level if you work really hard. And with those uh, advice, my students reached uh, till art and right now, and I am very happy. And later, I also got the opportunity to be the Joint Secretary of Care, uh, Computer Society. Uh, and one year I was there. So those days, I I value the um, value the uh, work I have done with students uh, all over Kerala, and uh, we organized many um, webinars. We organized many co many events, competitions, and all. Uh, so we got the energy. I got the energy from students, not from myself. So I, seeing the young generation, I got the energy from them, and I uh, I used to motivate them. And in in return, I get the energy from them. So uh, that's uh, that's the energy for me to uh, work forward in IEEE. And uh, it was a great experience. Later, I came to uh, through Shangar and Kuti Malu. I came to uh, this. Kerala section um, student activities committee. Uh, I have heard about this activities committee about, from Kavoma sir when I was listening listen to his talk uh, when he came to government engineering college Idiki uh, for link activities. Uh, those days I didn't know that a faculty can do uh, things in um, 
I could play, but uh, I, I could uh, organize. I could. I, I didn't do. I didn't organize, but I could be with my students to organize many events in Travancore Hub. Uh, so we have we had organized uh, industry perspective kind of events, and uh, one event was for mental health. Uh, it was great. I, uh, it was a long event, and many uh, sessions were there, and um, many. Uh, talk speakers came for giving talk and discussion. It was, it was a grand event, and uh, that's my experience in IEEE. And uh, I hope uh, the, my advice to the newly upcoming students is that you should uh, you should go and meet people. It, nowadays it is difficult, but you have to connect with people. You have to talk with them and. Get the energy from them and work forward. That's my advice. Don't hesitate to come out of your college. Thank you. Okay, thank you, Josna Miss, for sharing your thought and as well as the personal experience you had. So just to recap, uh, it is all in the synergy that you do the events, uh, especially as Ma'am pointed out. It started from the BCC meeting and the networking, the RAM support between the members the volunteers so first and foremost it's always uh, crucial that you break that comfort zone that you have in the college you move uh, apart from the college and you network and uh, definitely uh, personally that uh, i share with uh, josna ma'am is that the energy that we get from the students is the one that drives us to the next level so we all feel young so uh, it's a networking that uh, feel that is so personally speaking as well I didn't start being as a student uh, member. I have taken membership in 2006 as an IEEE uh, member, but I don't know what to do, how to connect. So there was not a guidance or a mentorship then. Then uh, finally, it was in late uh, uh, during my uh, PG days where I start restarted my membership, but uh, till then also I couldn't uh, 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 done that. But finally, I had a, reached a critical point in which uh, the, I need to be more of a technical founder person. So just took a membership professional membership and started from 2013 onwards so that is a, a role that we had so it's a really important that uh, as uh, faculties as a professional uh, members here most of them didn't enjoy the benefit that you all are getting so you are mostly first years and second years so you have a greater advantage than us so it's uh, wonderful that you have seized the opportunity and you continue that opportunity to create that with that we have just rounded up all the points here so it is the floor is open again to do that anyway thank you mr navneet for the first question so over to navneet it will be great you can turn on your video and uh, you can ask the question that you have for for the team the entire panelist over to navneet anyway thank you for seizing this opportunity definitely we all will uh, looking forward to meet you as well so uh, navneet are you there Uh, yes, you are, but a little feeble. It will be great that if you could shout uh, in your microphone. Okay. Okay, sir. Uh, am I uh, Yes, you are. Yes, you are. Uh, yes, you are. You are. Okay. Good evening, sir. I'm um, Navneet from Government Engineering College, Trishu. Hello. Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, uh, sir, I think there is some issue with uh, my um, internet connectivity. That's okay, it's I okay. You can ask questions. Okay, uh, sir, my question was, being a part of technical and professional organization, uh, we may feel low at times because um, uh, while organizing the program, maybe because of some uh, time issue or maybe because of some uh, mistakes that I have made, I may always feel low. So uh, the immediate impact will be on my team. How can I manage with those situations without um, affecting my team spirit? Like any advice that you can give us? Okay. So the question is that uh, how to feel or to stay motivated throughout your right to plead in your, uh, what are the ups and downs you face? So this is a yeah. question. So uh, anyone of the panelists would like to talk? To me? Yeah, Shankar. Yes. Yeah, now, really, we do face problems when uh, we organize events. Otherwise, there will not be any problem. Okay. So, 
definitely a team is working for the uh, successful uh, conduct of the event. And uh, us, how far we reach to our satisfaction, that is the count that we are getting from the feedback. That is, uh, if the program went uh, as we expected uh, to a higher level or to our great satisfaction, then it, it feels as a good event. And if there are some uh, uh, minuses and uh, some uh, undue uh, hap happenings in between, that is in uh, taking care of the guests or in the PA system or whatever it is. So, we, you know, when it is a physical event, we have to take more care. And in this uh, COVID scenario, we are going for uh, this uh, online events. That is, uh, so it is uh, really much easy. And physical events means uh, we have to plan and organize each and everything. And there should be a relevant uh, number of teams, publicity, then finance, then uh, this uh, program committee, invitation committee, then food committee, and so on. And we should have uh, meetings in between. And we should uh, discuss among ourselves what is the status of the program uh, now then what should be done uh, in the next coming days. So if we have in between meetings and we are planning and if our plans go in success, then the event will be very success. And uh, no, uh, on the day of the event, uh, the, 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 the uh, thing is the, or, the, or, the, the different teams working together to make it a grand success. And if, if a team fails, then there should be a team to look after all the teams. That is the crisis management team. The, so plan events like that. And uh, OK, we feel happy if the event went uh, to our satisfaction or to more of our satisfaction that it is a good. It was a good event. We considered all the guests and the guests arrived in time. We received them and we take care of them and the, the talks and everything was uh, perfectly all right. Then that means the event was very good and the students, uh, the members as well as the non members participating in the event, they get the feeling that it, it, it was a good event. And uh, we have to arrange some snacks also as, as you know, we can give to the participants. Maybe tea or uh, snacks like that, uh, depending on the time of the event and the duration of the event or lunch, if it is a one day program like that. So, so everything contributes for the success of the event. And the crisis management team is very important that they have to take care of all the uh, just Whenever there is a lack of uh, uh, organization, means uh, that uh, um, uh, close uh, monitor, mo doing or a, a, when there is a, a lack of um, uh, lack in a team's uh, efforts, then we have to take care of that part and we have to make the necessary you know, uh, corrections or updations there and make it a grand success. And after the event, uh, definitely we should have a meeting and we should analyze what happened. Was it uh, to our uh, our uh, satisfaction or what should be done uh, for, for that? Uh, no, what modification we should take care in the next meeting? I like that we if we have uh, relevant and uh, scheduled meetings in between before the event, after the event, and uh, the report of the event is also very important and that is also to be developed and that is to be reported to V Tools and uh, our uh, newsletter or uh, the section act, the student branch activities reported to SAC and so on. So this, 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 no, if we are not doing anything, then there will not be any problem coming uh, to you. When we do problems, sorry, events, we definitely have some problems facing and no, for the second event, it should not, uh, the, the same uh, mistake or the deficiency should not occur for the second event. And when we connected two events for the third event, it should be in a better fashion. And uh, we have to give chances to our volunteers also, student members also. Or, and try to give chances to most of the student or all the student members. Then they feel that uh, I have a part in the uh, student branch activities. I am also a part of student. Then the, the, the importance of uh, renewal or getting uh, all the members renewed becomes easy. So I think uh, this clears your uh, doubt. Now we sir, Definitely, sir. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Skatsi, sir. So uh, do any one of the panelists would like to add your perspective as well on how to keep on updated? Yes, sir. 
no, uh, really uh, nothing much to add. I think, uh, yeah, it is um, uh, major concern was on uh, to manage the time. Okay, that uh, mass uh, Kasim sir uh, explained. Uh, so we should uh, go to that uh, that schedule. We have already a schedule, and uh, and I think I personally believe. Uh, so if we are if we are able to conduct the more such programs up to our satisfaction, then then the the time is really worth it. Then the time we, we won't feel that it is a waste of time. So so it is um, uh, basically uh, it, it, the conduct of the program is more important. Uh, so if you are able to uh, organize the program uh, in a very fruitful manner, both to the organizers as well as to the attendees, then really, uh, then uh, really uh, there won't be much concern. Right? That's all, uh, Shankar. Okay, okay. Thank you, Vijay sir. So it's all in the the final result that we get. So all the but we all feel during the party. So it's like a. We uh, see that course of time when we're seeing the result, it is indeed a motivation. And definitely, uh, uh, managing a hinder team is difficult. But uh, saying the ultimate aim, being uh, as Kasusar I told in this earlier uh, talk, like being in a team and belongingness when you are there, it automatically feels motivated. So, uh, thank you, Navneet, for that question. So, moving on with the next question, uh, so Varun from LBS, are you there? Yeah, hello. Ah, hello. Anyway, it's good that you're the first person that we could see in spite of... Uh... So anyway, over to Vinay. You can just directly ask us. Varun. Okay. Sure. Sir. Good evening. Uh, my question is this. like, As leaders, how can we keep our team motivated when an event is over a long period? Like the Renaissance event, for example, has been a three to four week event. So the team initially has a lot of energy and spirit, but over time, we can see the team members loosen that motivation. So how can we keep our team motivated throughout an entire event? Okay. So I hope the panelists got the question. So it's uh, mainly uh, being conducting a long events, especially spanning for a one month. Uh, uh, how leaders, uh, student leaders can motivate the entire team. Uh, that motivating the team as well as motivating, motivating the participant is also equally necessary while conducting the work. Yeah, from Mr. Krishna. Yeah, Bijo. Yeah, I think, Kasim, sir, uh, you can, uh, yeah, you are the right person again, I think, to answer. Uh, uh, I can add, but uh, you can uh, comment. Yeah, okay. Gilesh? Okay, okay, let me. Yeah, to keep motivated means, uh, no, the thing is, now if we do have events of different types, maybe a single talk for one hour duration, or maybe a workshop for a uh, forenoon and afternoon session, or a series two days series or three days series or a month long program and this month long program may be splitted into uh, no weekends saturday sunday saturday sunday and uh, like that and to keep the uh, uh, that uh, uh, motivation or uh, uh, that uh, temper or the joy of volunteering actually we sh uh, no we we had a planning of the events we had the sh uh, event scheduled properly then uh, the first two days event is in front of us. So that means if the um, speakers and everything is planned uh, in a proper schedule, then we can have a final uh, no confirmation with the speakers just the day before the event. Then, uh, uh, no, again, it depends on whether it is a physical event or a virtual event. And these days, uh, to be frank, uh, from 2020, uh, March uh, 5, I had a an, I had an event at Muslim College of Engineering. Uh, there uh, I took an event. Then uh, five, six, seven, TKM College of Engineering. Uh, we do have an event there, and uh, we planned our IAIA. IAIA that is the All Kerala Industry Application Society Student Conclave, the second edition at uh, um, uh, UKF College of Engineering and uh, Technology, Paripalli. And uh, no, it was scheduled on March thirteenth. 
everything was set. Registration, speakers, fantastic. And uh, the accommodation, etc. everything is arranged. And uh, the director of uh, UK, uh, Amrita Ma'am, she was also very supporting uh, uh, the event. And uh, uh, she finally uh, told us that uh, we will accommodate the boys in uh, town in hotels and the girls in the ladies' hostel. And uh, the, the schedule was fantastic and fun. Um, it is uh, prepared um, and scheduled very order, in order. And registration, everything was paka. And what happened is, you know, by March 6, 7, no, 8, on the day of 8, uh, the government declared that uh, no social gathering. Then um, it is to be postponed. No other choice uh, for us. Then we postponed and we thought that this pandemic will be over by uh, another five or six months and uh, myself, Biju and the team that we decided and we thought we can, we, can, uh, we will go as a physical event itself in uh, say October, by October. So we postponed and we inform all the students that the event is postponed. And the speakers also, that's also very important, you know, all the speakers that the, because of this pandemic situation and the government ban, we, we are postponing the event and we postponed and finally, no, we conducted the event. We were able to conduct the event only in November 2020. And we, we accommodated all the speakers, um, but slightly in a different uh, um, uh, schedule. The schedule is reworked to accommodate all the speakers. And it was an online event, so we cannot have the, the participants physically in front of us. So, so taking uh, all this into consideration, we give uh, 20 minutes to 25 minutes for the speakers and the workshops and so on. And it also went very well. So the thing is that the scheduling and the planning, that is very, very important. We should have a PAKKA planned activity. And the, the event, once the event is scheduled, including the registration and everything, the speakers, the talks or the sessions, everything is to be planned well in advance. And we have to remain all the speakers uh, before time. Once the registration is uh, full, then no need to worry about uh, the participants. And we can remain them also on day in advance that our event is starting on uh, uh, this day at, but at this time like that and the speakers also we have to remain that uh, ours. and and if possible better make a call no and talk to them personally and again uh, give a thanks and invite them to our event and and it, it can be a uh, fantastic event so the, the the connectivity the contacts we make with the uh, uh, participants we make with the guest speakers and uh, uh, the team us us all together and means we should have regular meetings to uh, to uh, you know assess the progress of the event and uh, yeah. to, to 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 keep the vibrancy and the supporting team it is very important and uh, we should give uh, chances to the student volunteers also so that they will get uh, excited they are the backbone of our all activities the section activities the student branch activities the link activities as well as the society chapter activities so we have to give a lot of uh, lot of opportunities for the student team and if we plan and we implement uh, in such a fashion that is it, it is possible only with the discussion mutual discussion or meetings uh, that is prior to and uh, during the events and after the events so then that uh, motivation or that uh, spirit can be retained yeah yeah cousin sir yeah, yeah yeah you can add it to that yeah that is that i think that is the most important point there so we we should have regular review meetings uh, possibly if it is a three-day event or a five-day event so we can have a regular uh, meeting in the evening so I, I assume it is a physical program okay so once uh, that, that uh, we event in a particular day is over say five o'clock or six o'clock or even seven o'clock in the evening so the volunteers can assemble together and they can have a review of the um, the, the conduct of the program so they can analyze uh, the plus and minus of the conduct of the program and they can um, uh, motivate themselves, uh, then definitely it gives a, a lot of energy. Of course, there may be some mistakes from the duties of some response, some uh, some volunteers, then what the leaders, uh, the senior volunteers have to do is that instead of blaming them, they have to encourage them. Um, uh, they have to motivate them. 
so that is the way a, a, a kind of a, a big event could be organized so that we can uh, keep the morale of the all, all the volunteers high and keep the enthusiasm high so definitely if you do that and um, uh, please give opportunity to all the volunteers in the team there may be 30 volunteers or even 50 volunteers please give opportunity to all the volunteers and please give them some opportunity to interact with the other uh, participants of the program the speakers of the program senior people of the program so that they could uh, get more the opportunity to interact with these people and uh, get a more more more, more um, uh, encouragement uh, from uh, interacting with other people so that is a way definitely we can um, keep the enthusiasm high it is uh, up to the the leaders of that particular so of course there will be some some few leaders who will be leading the whole volunteers so it is up to the leaders how they they handle their 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 all of their team uh, i think that is the most important thank you thank you kasim sir and biju sir so the key uh, focus is to have the re review meeting and to have a good rapport between the team members to share what they have to see and uh, convert all those into the learning experience for each and every one so uh, and another uh, point another question is that uh, we have uh, one more question the raised hand feature so i see uh, afras khan uh, i see that you are you are all, uh, really active in all the sessions it will be great that you could uh, introduce yourself your name as well as your college and you can ask questions over to afras all right sir thank you i hope i'm listening i hope this thing yes yes you are hello yeah so my name is arfas khan and i'm from awh engineering college and i'm a first year electronics and communication student so my question is still uh, about the leadership only and the question is that if uh, we are still in the pandemic era and most of the upcoming leaders and uh, the growing leaders they would be uh, virtually they will be having experience with the virtual world rather than the physical one so will that have any impact when once we when we get into the physical world or interact with the outer world can we be able to uh, handle the situations in the outer world so that's my question okay i hope the panelists have got the question yes uh, yeah, yeah. i will paraphrase uh, Oh, yes, so I'll paraphrase the question. So the question that is put forward is that uh, earlier days we used to conduct physical events, but uh, while we moved on to 2020, it's uh, actually a question on how to conduct virtual. So now the students are really into virtual events, but now when you are moving to the physical event, it is quite challenging to on how to proceed. So it's quite challenging because for an online event, we can directly uh, execute that plan at very easily but in during physical it's very quite challenging as well and uh, some of the portion has already the kasisar has told what are the planning that occurs to keep motivated taking the uh, all kerala uh, iaa students conclave at ukf so uh, that is a question that is put forward uh, by afras you are from which college afras awh engineering college awh college question awh yes sir Shall I start with that? Yeah. Ah, sure, sir. Okay, sir. Please, sir. Please. Yeah, yeah. Uh, thank you uh, for that uh, nice question. Yeah, I think this uh, this virtual time, this COVID time is uh, an opportunity as well. So we know there are, of course, there are some limitations. So we are not able to assemble physically together. Of course, uh, that creates some, uh, uh, that uh, creates some void there. But still, it gives a lot of opportunities also. And uh, recently, we have over the past one and a half years, we have seen many events uh, rose to the global level. Uh, so our uh, joint chapter also last year conducted uh, IV Tech, which was, uh, which, which was an excellently organized program. And uh, last year, um, at, towards the end, we conducted uh, online, again online, all Kerala IA student congress also. So that was also another success. So I think personally believe it is an opportunity as well, because um, for a physical program, of course, uh, for a student kind of program, of course, there will not be too many funds and all. So of course, there is some uh, some uh, limitation in bringing people from outside, uh, especially top people, even for people from US, Canada, etc. So nowadays, um, uh, people are getting a lot of opportunities, inviting any top people, even so 
ഐ ട്രിപ്പിൾ ഇ പ്രസിഡന്റ് ഐ വി ഫോർ ഐ വി ടെക് ഐ ട്രിപ്പിൾ ഇ പ്രസിഡന്റ് വാസ് ദർ ആൻഡ് സോ മെനി അതർ പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് മെനി ചാപ്റ്റർ ഈവൻ എസ് ബി ചാപ്റ്റർ ഇനാഗുറേഷൻ സൊസൈറ്റി പ്രസിഡന്റ്സ് ഐ എ സൊസൈറ്റി പ്രസിഡന്റ് ബി എൽ എസ് സൊസൈറ്റി പ്രസിഡന്റ് ദാറ്റ് കൈൻഡ് ഓഫ് ദാറ്റ് ലെവൽ ഓഫ് പീപ്പിൾ കംസ് സോ ഡെഫിനറ്റ്ലി ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് എ മൈൻ ഓപ്പർച്യൂണിറ്റി ഇൻ അവർ ഡേയ്സ് ബട്ട് ദ ക്വസ്റ്റൻ ഈസ് ഹൗ സോ വൺസ് ദീസ് ദീസ് പാൻഡമിക് ഈസ് ഓവർ ആൻഡ് വൺസ് വി സ്ലോലി ഗോ ബാക്ക് ടു അവർ കൺവെൻഷണൽ ഫിസിക്കൽ പ്രോഗ്രാംസ് ഹൗ കുഡ് ബി ഹൗ കുഡ് ബി ബാലൻസ് ദാറ്റ് അവർ ഫോർ നോർ വിൽ ദാറ്റ് ക്രിയേറ്റ് എനി ഇഷ്യൂ ദാറ്റ് ഐ തിങ്ക് ബേസിക്കലി സോ വി ഹാവ് ടു സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി ദാറ്റ് സൺ ഇമ്പോർട്ടൻറ്റ് പോയിൻറ്റ് ബിക്കോസ് ഇൻ മൈ എസ് ബി ഓൾസോ ഐ ക്യാൻ സൈറ്റ് ആസ് എൻ എക്സാമ്പിൾ സോ ഐ ഹാവ് ഇൻ സീൻ മീൻ സീൻ മീൻസ് ഫിസിക്കലി സീൻ എനി ഓഫ് മൈ ഐ എസ് ബി മെമ്പേഴ്സ് ഇൻ ട്വൻറ്റി ട്വൻറ്റി വൺ ബട്ട് വി ഷുഡ് സ്പെസിഫിക്കലി ട്രൈ ടു കോമ്പൻസേറ്റ് ദാറ്റ് അതർവൈസ് ക്യാൻ ബി എ ബിഗ് വോക്കോം ബിറ്റ്വീൻ ദ മെമ്പേഴ്സ് and for this online meetings also um, i personally we feel even uh, now this meeting so around uh, uh, 50 to 60 people are attending but if possible if all the uh, attendees could uh, switch on their video and uh, at least um, see them virtually uh, then these kind of interactions becomes more more effective so that uh, at least uh, in some way at least uh, uh, we could uh, we could uh, reduce that uh, gap of uh, not meeting you personally so um, that is one my request in every meeting so every virtual meetings uh, if possible of course there may be some uh, restriction with the bandwidth etc but if possible if uh, if you your internet uh, connection allows you please switch on your video so that at least we could uh, see at least virtually uh, uh, so that once we meet physically we could at least identify oh this is uh, this student like that we could identify so that is one way uh, so we can somehow uh, manage uh, then the other way is uh, that hybrid meeting so okay so um, so so instead of having a completely virtual meeting if uh, at least uh, 10 nowadays uh, to 10 to 20 students uh, can possibly um, come uh, assemble some uh, because students are going to write some exams some colleges if possible uh, small groups uh, can assemble for some programs and they have some nowadays all the nowadays students know how to organize uh, the hybrid meetings okay so if you have a mobile camera you can uh, easily arrange hybrid meetings i i strongly believe uh, that kind of hybrid meetings also could uh, could uh, somehow reduce the gap and gradually by, by as i told by uh, having uh, the video switched on uh, so that at least we could see the uh, people virtually and uh, you see hybrid meetings um gradually we can uh, reduce the gap of course uh, not completely um, and we can manage that and we can have a smooth uh, smooth transition from this uh, virtual era to go and go back to this uh, uh, this physical meeting thank you yeah sir, thank you thank you vijay sir so what do you okay sir to add on yeah i would uh, like to add that you know uh, the question actually you no know, uh, do we face some problem when the uh, physical events comes right and okay uh, actually uh, we do, we do not uh, face much problem because uh, for physical events uh, the real uh, uh, no hurdle before us is the finance we should have uh, good money with us with the student plan to organize a quality event and the even we can uh, the fund we can raise through registration through support from uh, our uh, parent organizations or support from our management if it is a management co- college then or support from sponsors like that so fund is on ma- major uh, problem that comes when a physical event is coming and if we can manage the fund for example all kerala industry application society student conclave when we plan to conduct that the first event was at nss college of engineering palakkad we conducted it fantastically and at that time we allowed 100 students to register official participants and the, the registration was complete and uh, no registration amount was fees was less for 3 days event and we conducted it, it in a fantastic manner at nss college of engineering palakkad and we got support from uh, ias uh, global ias uh, nearly 1000 dollars then we got support from kerala section we got support from some sponsors and uh, like that when we you know when the fund is 
there uh, and when we do properly plan the event schedule it arrange the speakers and arrange their accommodation travel etc in a proper fashion then uh, we will not face uh, much problem only thing is you should have proper committees to look into all the aspects there is a different aspects then uh, we should uh, have in between meetings to uh, the, uh, to check the status of the event or the progress of the event and you, and the teachers should support that is very important if the teachers are there to support uh, you and advise you then it will become an that means a, a, a guidance and a support from your faculty members at your college whether they are actively members or even non members can also come into picture when there is a scarcity of IEEE members is there in your college. So like that, when the faculty supports you and you plan the events and sit together, all of you sit together, discuss various aspects and plan it and schedule it, it, it goes good. So the fundraising is the main project, pro, uh, the problem. And if we put more on the registration fees, then the student participation, we find it difficult to get uh, the required number of student participation. So we have to have a compromise on the uh, registration fees also because we have to give some kids their food, their accommodation, etc. And with the registration fees, it will not cover, never it will not cover the uh, expense. So we have to find out the sufficient uh, balance amount from different sources to make it a real vibrant one. And the second thing is, again, it depends on the type of the event. For a talk means physical event, the speaker, we have to take care of the speaker travel and so on. The local, that uh, hospitality, etc. we have to take care. Oh, no, if a speaker is coming from, say, Kollam, and uh, he has to reach Palakkad, then naturally we have to arrange his train ticket. Or if some problem is there, then uh, Kerala section supports. Okay, so his uh, travel, we have to take care of his local sub, uh, this uh, hospitality. If an accommodation is to be arranged, we have to take uh, that, take care of that. Then his local travel is to be arranged and so on. And then the participants, we have to arrange proper uh, partic participants. If it is a college event, if it is a student branch event, and if it is a hub event, then we have to link all the uh, hub team with the college team and so on. If the proper planning and the proper uh, schedule and this, uh, no, uh, everything is, uh, we plan it, uh, plan it in a good fashion, then uh, the physical events uh, will not face uh, much problem. And don't uh, keep it at the end. That is very important. If your program is on, say, February, then you, sh if it is a very, no, all Kerala level program, then you should have work for the success of the event minimum six months back, then we can uh, definitely get a very good, very fruitful result that I am telling, uh, telling from my experience with the two All Kerala Industry Application Society student conclave that we organized uh, uh, when I was the chair of uh, IAE PLS John chapter. And uh, now, okay, the second one <laughs> went uh, a virtual because of the pandemic, okay. And we returned the registration fees, uh, except 100 rupees for all the members for the second, uh, that event, our Kerala industry application. Yeah. We give them certificates and so on. Okay, so we, we, we should plan it properly and we should uh, find the fund relevant or required for the successful con conduct of the event. And we have to take care of the speakers and the participants' hospitality. Okay, I think. Uh, which year, uh, yeah, you are which year student? Sir, I'm a first year student. Oh, that is why the question. Oh, oh you are still to want to physically. Okay, okay. Yeah. In some of the colleges, first year students are doing well. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Yes, you, sir. Is, anybody Kansar else? Sir and visitors, thank you so much. Uh, so the key highlight is being uh, whatever you do, you take the best of both worlds. 
uh, like what uh, which is sir has told you take the advantage of the physical event as well as you combine with the online event to have an hybrid event definitely uh, planning like what cousin sir said that from six months there will be a nice idea on how to execute the event physically so uh, most probably in coming years the hybrid will be the new uh, normal i guess yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. so where in which we can get uh, the international speakers through online and we the local community volunteers as a participant can come together so that will be the new normal and uh, since the participants are especially the student leaders for the next year so definitely they are from first year and second year so that is a point uh, to address so uh, since uh, we are uh, overshooting time so we have crossed one hour and 40 minutes it's a big thing and uh, it's a uh, very challenging also so we have two more questions pending so one is from jihana as one other from rohit so it will be great that if you two can turn on your video and you can ask, uh, it will be great. So first you introduce yourself, each college, and you can ask your question. So Jihana and to Rohit. Good evening, sir. Sir, am I audible? Yeah, yes, please. Yes, you are audible. I'm Jihana from IEEE-SPUKCET. Is there any humanitarian or societal challenge that motivated you to do better? Okay, so Jihana, do you, you want to ask a specific panel member or it's too open to all? So I have some network issues, so can I? Okay, so the question uh, that you have asked is to a specific panel member or uh, to uh, all panelists? So I think to all panelists and especially I think it will turns to uh, Kasim sir because uh, he has a lot of experience in his uh, career. So I think it's to Kasim sir. Yeah, okay, Johanna and uh, uh, really uh, we started this humanitarian activities, uh, uh, you know, in an effective manner uh, from 2010. And uh, uh, to my you no know, TKMC background, uh, we you know this uh, uh, call for humanitarian activities came from I and uh, we thought of an event. And then at that time, I uh, contacted uh, my friend uh, engineer Radhakrishnan. He was a member of uh, K Kerala State Electricity Board. Member means uh, chief engineer. Then above chief engineer member, some member generation. Distribu uh, generation and distribution member, transmission member, then uh, uh, this, some three, four members were there at that time. Then this Radhashan, he was my classmate at TGM and uh, I contacted him and uh, I asked him, uh, do we have any specific uh, humanitarian activities program to be implemented? Uh, on, and in our mind that some solar power, power panels to be implemented to some uh, no, very needy place. Then he told me there is a place near Anjal uh, uh, Karugon. Anjal, the, the uh, location is Karugon, and uh, that is near to Anjal. That, that is uh, in that uh, uh, near to Ayur. Ayur, Anjal, then Karugon. Uh, there is a no forest area where uh, some uh, ten to twelve uh, uh, homes are there and they are not having any electricity at their uh, house because of the forest area no line is no distribution line is uh, uh, routed through that area so they, they are using that kerosene lamp and like that for the uh, night at night so uh, we we discussed uh, at our student branch so this issue he highlighted and he said uh, they are very much in need of some uh, this uh, supporting electrical system means light light or light and uh, or two lights with one fan or something like that then it will be very useful and uh, we 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 planned and uh, we visited that place then uh, we made a proposal to make all the homes with this uh, solar power and we put a proposal uh, taking the budget that is the cost of uh, the items from different shops and we put a proposal to uh, IEEE HSC. And this proposal got approved and uh, finally we uh, implemented. And uh, no, when, we, when this was implemented, it got uh, by 2011 end, the project got uh, physically implemented. 
and this was a highly recognized by i to play and the students uh, the volunteers they uh, get chance to present this uh, uh, project uh, before i to play in one of their uh, um, important annual general meeting also so like that uh, no we we should uh, think of uh, this uh, humanitarian activities uh, to the needy area to the needy people at, at, at times no from time to time it is different uh, and during the flood uh, we did very well fantastically that is most of the uh, houses in uh, uh, low lying areas got flooded and uh, their main switch everything got damaged and this i to play strongly supported uh, by providing the main uh, switchboard switch, switchboard system to the most needy people with the support of uh, means uh, supported or assisted by kcb people and like that so we have to find out the real uh, needy or the problem that our people facing and the big people of the society facing and we have to and recently we had a lot of uh, hsc programs uh, now approved and uh, we are doing in uh, uh, different different areas also so this way we have to plan or we have to find out which is a program or which is a pro uh, project that we have to execute in our nearby places and uh, we, we can give good proposals. The proposal is very important and the nature of the proposal and uh, the proposal, how many people are uh, got benefited by the project and that all uh, uh, looks into when the proposal is got approved. And once the proposal is got approved, then we feel that it is easy for uh, implementing the proposal. And we are now Kerala section is uh, getting a number of uh, proposals got approved, right? Yeah, hack, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, yeah. hack, both hack and site projects. So many projects yeah. nowadays. Uh, uh, not only that, uh, uh, since uh, nowadays during this COVID time, Arton also has invited many Arton, uh, sorry, uh, COVID related projects. Okay. Specifically, COVID related. COVID related projects alone. That kind of uh, proposals was also there. So, a lot of opportunities for our IEEE volunteers. Uh, uh, for the humanitarian kind of activities, uh, yeah, lot of opportunities. Yes, sir. Uh, yes, sir, Ambija, sir. Thank you so much. So, uh, so moving on to the next question. Uh, so, uh, Bettina, are you there? Yes. Okay. So you can ask uh, your question. Uh, so already she has put in the chat box. So you can turn your video and you can ask. I'm making you to do that because this is, as Bijusar mentioned, this is an yeah. opportunity to actually virtually see and interact. So yeah. with short of time, I think uh, uh, we will take that as a last question. Okay. Okay. Good evening. My name is Bettina John Bosco from Bishop Jerome Institute, Pullam. So my question is, actually from IEEE, we get a lot of volunteering experiences and managerial skills. So apart from that, we get technical skills, so how can we utilize this means provided by IEEE to improve this technical skills as a beginner? Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, that is what uh, I, uh, I mentioned in my initial uh, that uh, brief talk also. Uh, in fact, IEEE is the best platform for you to grow technically. So there are a lot of, in fact, 39 IEEE technical societies. And you should identify your respective society. Which branch you are studying, Bettina? Triple A. Yes, sir. Okay, okay, great. So for Triple A, a lot of uh, societies are there in IEEE, which, uh, which, which take care of uh, the technical activities like Industry Application Society, Power Energy Society, Industry Electronic Society, Power Electronic, Power Electronic Society. So you can uh, um, uh, take a membership in these societies also by paying an, a small extra amount. And of course, some uh, societies give free membership as well. For example, for first year, uh, fresh IEEE members, both PES and IES gives a free membership. Then uh, nowadays, this IES membership is free for any for any year members, student volunteer or professional volunteer. Powertronic Society also gives uh, some promo codes for some period of time like that. Uh, you, 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 you can take uh, membership in these uh, societies and uh, there are a lot of uh, benefits being a member of these societies. Like uh, So you can access to all uh, publications uh, there. 
all these societies have their own uh, transactions their own premier publications in addition to that uh, they the all these uh, major technical societies publish their magazines at least uh, uh, once in two months or once in three months at least okay and these all these magazines covers uh, the their recent uh, developments uh, uh, in that uh, particular technical area uh, I, uh, technical reports uh, technical articles by the expert in the world and uh, in addition to that uh, all the societies uh, publish their monthly newsletter and that is communicated to all the members via their e notice uh, and then there are also uh, some kind some kind of abstract information will be their own uh, the technical developments the workshops that particular society is organizing the conferences that particular society is organizing this all are, uh, gives you plenty of uh, plenty of uh, uh, exposure uh, to various uh, kind of technical uh, things that uh, that of course depends on how 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 effectively you utilize that say for example say for answer a conference so in the beta level itself say at least for the final year project if you are able to convert to your final year project into a technical paper okay conference paper then um, you get an opportunity to publish your paper uh, uh, in an IEEE conference uh, get an opportunity to appear your paper in IEEE conference proceedings not only that you get an opportunity to uh, go to uh, uh, even uh, so go to some uh, places like even US, Canada, and attend conference. So many IEEE conferences offer uh, travel grants to students also. Okay. So if you have a paper accepted, then the, the chance of getting a travel grant is very much high. Okay. So you can uh, definitely a lot of uh, chances are there uh, through IEEE technical societies for uh, reaching your technical career. So it is up to you to utilize these, uh, these resources. Okay. Yeah, Bijo, I, I would like to just intervene. And Bettina, how do you come to join this uh, Renaissance too? Bettina, there? Actually, I heard it. Ah, yes, sir. Yeah. Please. Sir, actually, I heard it from my college group yeah. itself. Actually, we had this uh, IEEE in our college. So, we are second year students. So, and when we heard about this Renaissance, we thought, I have heard from many other colleges conducting a lot of events and I have been part in that, but I didn't have great knowledge about what this IEEE was. So when I joined this Renaissance and I was getting some knowledge from this, I mean, these three weeks, I was getting some knowledge about that. So I wanted to improve my technical skills. That is why I asked this question and sir actually answered my question very well. Thank you, sir. Yeah, and one more thing I wanted to <laughs> brief that uh, myself and Biju were there uh, no, in uh, too many times. As part of the conducting the Power and Energy Society, I typically day PESQs before. I said. And uh, we we do, uh, no, I did uh, some um, this membership development session at Bishop Jerome Institute. Then we had some members at that time. Then again, uh, no, as I said at the beginning, because of the a faculty, you no, know, students comes and after their course, they leave the institution and they go back. You no, know, they go back to their home. What happens is, if the student teams, if they are bringing up their juniors to a vibrant team, then it will continue strongly, just like uh, different uh, active student branches in Kerala. Okay, the UKF is an example, uh, TKM, TKM is an old uh, student branch, so it is very active. Then uh, nearby College of Engineering, Gatnapoli, it is another uh, example. So, no, the vibrancy of the student branch, that, that has to be there with the support of the student branch counselor or the student branch chapter advisors plus the current student team. And if the current student team trains their juniors for the next year, then it will be easy to continue the activities of the student branch. And you, you, the, the platform IEEE gives you is uh, fantastic with any type of you can plan any type of event technical non-technical or uh, this administrative any any type of events you can organize within IEEE. okay so that uh, number of opportunities are there chances are there and uh, right now it is very easy because you need not require any much funding for conducting the events much uh, cash balance for conducting the event 
So actually, if you have some sufficient members, you can reactivate your student branch and start uh, you know, um, doing activities at your student branch itself. And uh, now for uh, 2022, uh, now the, this membership, new membership is uh, started for 2022 from August 15. Okay. Now what you have to pay is only 990 rupees for the membership. And that membership is valid up to December 2022. And if you have some you know, 10, 20 student members joining IEEE and if you reactivate your student branch, then uh, we, we can find out a faculty. I can talk to your principal. He's a friend of mine. And Bijusar is very near to your college, only three kilometers away from your college and me six kilometers away from your college. And, re and I really wanted to uh, make this Bishop Jerome Institute an uh, uh, active student branch. So please uh, do whatever possible at your end. And uh, please contact us uh, for any support from our side. Shankar, okay. Yeah, sir, okay. okay, sir. Yeah. Thank you, yeah. Kasi, sir. Uh, so we are nearing six. Yeah. Uh, so we will have uh, a final question and uh, I request the panelists to just to be to the point. And thank you, Kasi, sir, uh, for that uh, uh, valuable share on, uh, especially now Bettina is a person that both Kasi, sir, and Vijisar knows. So, you know, both vice chair as well as the, the treasurer of IEEE class section. So it's indeed an opportunity for you, Bettina, as well, to build your networking. And this should be the motto of every volunteers to build your professional network and to uh, uh, move forward. So, uh, Gilay, sir, uh, are you there, sir? Yeah. Yes, sir. Uh, so with that, it will be great that if you could share uh, your perspective, especially towards the computer society, because uh, we have addressed triply. So we have EC, uh, CS as well. So it will be great that if you could share uh, your perspective towards the computer society issue, uh, gain or grow technically uh, as a beginner. Yeah. Uh, so I mean, I'll, I'll be very brief on that. Uh, computer society is one of the largest societies of IEEE and in fact that's as uh, you have it you know, uh, they have entirely different domain as such and you know, they have they live in a different space as such, but they do are associated with IEEE and uh, the, as Bijusa said there are a lot of publications that come out of IEEE computer society and newsletter and if you uh, get a membership on that and you have magazines such as Edge and many other magazines uh, that come to your, uh, the e-copy which comes to your uh, inbox, okay. And uh, there the are student branches gets uh, startup funds and regularly a lot of funding which are available to from computer society, which uh, what I've seen as a very few uh, society chapters in Kerala uh, grab those fundings from the uh, headquarters. So I, I, any any computing related uh, project can uh, you know fetch money from the computer society uh, headquarters, and we have a very vibrant group team um, uh, at Kerala section. Srini, uh, who is a very experienced person, who is a past chair of IEEE Kerala section, who is leading computer society chapter in Kerala, and any advice. Uh, if you want, could be you know taken from him. And Deepthi is also very active in that sense. And the uh, team. Uh, when the, uh, earlier, I think when I I happened to be the vice chair and also the secretary of uh, computer society, we had Jishnu uh, along with us, and he who has made us uh, a very vibrant chapter in uh, computer society. And uh, another thing, uh, again, Bijus was talking about the funding for students. Computer si computer society has a lot of fundings. I should say that a computer society is one of the uh, societies which organize multiple A star conferences. I don't know how many of you know what A star conference is. Uh, there is uh, there are several agencies who rank conferences across the world, especially in, in the field of computing. And uh, A star means to be the top tier conferences across the world. And a computer society is the is one of the agencies or organization who actually directly coordinates many such conferences. And most of these conferences do provide funding for travel grant and you know, registration fee refund for many to students, especially uh, whether it is you know, graduate student or you know, undergrad student. They, you get a chance to visit, go, to go to the conference 
uh, get networked and stuff like that. And uh, connection to computer society, there's a, uh, I don't know how many of you know about ACM, Association of Computing, Mach Computing Machinery. And they, both of them are associated because in the US, uh, computer society is closely associated with ACM. And I think uh, uh, the members of ACM uh, get some benefit from, from if you are a member of computer society as well and vice versa also. So uh, some of the benefits are being, um, the, the reason is the, um, some of the conferences are jointly organized by IEEE Computer Society and uh, ACM. So uh, there is a, a very, you know, very uh, you know, tight bonding between these two societies uh, in the computing world. So I, I just wanted to mention that uh, we have a lot, um, you know, ample opportunities to advance your career in computing if you are a member of Computer Society. And that's it. Okay, thank you, Gilesh sir, for sharing your valuable thoughts, especially his perspective to the computer science students here as well. So, uh, as uh, Gilesh sir, as well as uh, Kasim sir and Vijay sir has already mentioned, uh, it is indeed a great opportunity for student members to technically evolve also in technical society. So, uh, finally, since short of time, we are already at six, so we have passed two hours, and last event it was nearly three and a half hours. So uh, seeing the feedbacks uh, from the participants, actually a really long session. To avoid that, uh, it would be great uh, if we could uh, uh, share all the questions so that we can share it with the corresponding panelists also so that we can take offline as well. So, uh, and meanwhile, uh, so we have an active vibrant student committee, both uh, VSAC, so you all know them personally. So if you require any further assistance in the next year, feel free to contact them as well. And uh, since uh, uh, one of the student members has uh, raising hand for a long time, Mr. Rohit, so uh, I think we will have the final question from Rohit and uh, we can have a quick reply, uh, maybe like one minute or two minutes so that we can wind up this uh, formal session with a group photo. Either we are down to 34 because uh, I don't want people to moving out from the group photo. So over to Rohit. Yes, uh, you are not audible. I don't know whether it's my side or not. Uh, no, you are audible. Shankar, you are audible. Yeah, yeah. Okay. No response. Yeah, is there? Yeah. George. Yes, sir. Am I audible now? Yeah, please. So, uh, my name is Rohit and I'm a member of uh, Pisaitas B. So, uh, it's my personal opinion. It means a uh, lot of leadership and skills to me so uh, what would you say to all those new members out there on how to develop their leadership and volunteering skills which i think uh, is one of the uh, is two of the major factors while being okay so the question uh, which rohit has uh, put forward is that uh, especially for the new members in a particular sb uh, what is the main focus uh, the student should do so it will be great from the panelists if you uh, suggest a, uh, a a topic area uh, so it will be great uh, if you could suggest uh, a area in which the students can uh, focus on the leadership so uh, Kasi sir you would like to share a few point uh, yeah. since we are out of time it will be great if you could keep it uh, within a minute Over yeah, to you, Kasi, yeah. sir. Okay. And actually now to that question Rohit actually what we should do is uh, no, uh, you have meetings of uh, your uh, student uh, branch, that is the uh, members uh, with the, the faculty ad, uh, counselor and if you have a uh, student branch chapters, uh, the chapter advisor also. You have meeting, regular meeting with the student uh, members and faculty and uh, plan activities and plan activities uh, you know, uh, with uh, resource persons from uh, Kerala section outside Kerala section, then within your student branch also, even with the help of the student members, RIT is conducting a fantastic program. They were conducting, you no know, weekly, uh, no one program evening, they, uh, the members joins together and they present some program by the students for the students. So plan something like that uh, for the members 
uh, of the student branch some programs like that for the members of the student program weekly or bi-weekly so that uh, the members get uh, involved in uh, sb activities so in this period it is easy to get uh, you know very good speakers within uh, from kerala section as well as from outside as uh, shankar and uh, uh, all our uh, speakers said you no know, now it is uh, not uh, difficult to get a eminent speaker for a talk or for a program scheduled program so you can plan it like that and uh, you can uh, make uh, your uh, student branch very active and uh, one point i wanted to tell is you no know, regarding the computer science actually the membership fee is eight dollars and uh, computer society is giving a 50 percent discount for the student members that means full year membership is only four dollars for the students and it is it is one of the best society chapters uh, of i to play and uh, it is the first society chapter of Kerala section also, Computer Society, which was formed in 1984, 1984, the first society chapter of Kerala section. And now currently it is having 2,967 members in Kerala section. And uh, so paid members, no free members there. And uh, very close to IIE PLS and PS with uh, 3,872, IAS with uh, 3,000. 109 as on uh, today so this computer society professional members it is uh, 60 dollars you have to uh, understand that so students are uh, interested in uh, or studying in computer science as well as interest interested in computer uh, programming or computer subjects definitely join computer society and get the advantage of that and another point is now, among our Kerala section, Rajagiri School of Engineering and Technology is uh, in membership count uh, sixth position in world ranking, and they are having 560 student branches. So they 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 are now in first. Student, and five, MA College five, 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 in members. Second. Yeah, and Adi Shankar in third, and TMC in fourth. Sir, uh, the, uh, sir, I think Rajagiri was 600 plus, right? Uh, no, no. Today I Honestly, just we crossed the six hundred. Yeah, because you know, I took it from the, uh, not directly from the student branch count. M maybe hmm. this is a uh, two three days back. Uh, one SB crossed the six hundred mark. Yeah, yeah more uh, than six hundred. That means it is Rajagiri itself. They, they uh, are yeah. uh, now number six in the world uh, membership count. Yeah. Thank you. Uh, yes, sir. Thank you, Kasi sir. So, a quick thoughts on uh, this, Gilay uh, uh, sir. No, I, I don't get that. Okay. Uh, yes, sir. No, I didn't get that. what was the question on that. What was the question? Uh, uh, the question was uh, put forward by Rohit, especially to how to make the juniors uh, very active. Or uh, new student branches, you mean, right? Yes. Oh, this for stu student branches or what? Okay. Student branches. The students in student branches. So, what will be your quick uh, takeaway? No, what I've I've always uh, what I've seen as you know you need to uh, purposefully engage them in activities. And uh, earlier also there was a question how to keep the team uh, you know vibrant or being alive. The only thing is, uh, the only thing I've seen is you know you need to. Uh, uh, offer them incentives incentives in some sense i don't know what what kind of incentives you could offer to them but uh, you should you need to in incentivize your activities and you know uh, uh, put responsibilities on their shoulders uh, which will you know uh, you know uh, get them a feeling of responsibility and then they start involving in the uh, uh, student branch activity that's what i've seen and uh, you can never advise your juniors and uh, bring them up. There's no, there's no point in it. They don't, they don't, I mean, even uh, not just your juniors. Nobody, even my ch child, won't listen to my advice unless I do it, <laughs> show it to them, show it to them. So that's the thing. So you can actually uh, get people uh, in involved into your activities, put them uh, into uh, roles such as you know, co-chair or vice chair or vice called co convener or kind of stuff, kind of stuff, and then. Uh, that you know, makes them feel responsible, and gradually they would pick up, pick it up, and then they become leaders and be active in your activity. That's what. That's the only way you can 
uh, do things. And I've seen incentivize in the numbers. I've been uh, even Kasim sir was saying there's this uh, you know almost a nil expense with regard to the uh, SB activities. And you have enough money in your SB account that there's no point in you know, keeping those money as a reserve for some other activities in, in future. Uh, but do you should do incentivize uh, you know in terms of uh, that as well. You know if they have some uh, you know done. Uh, exceptionally well you reward them with something and uh, no, not with cash i would say not, not never do that but you reward them with something and then that will actually motivate them to get into activities but when it comes to you know physical activities budgeting is always a uh, you know, limitation you won't have money to actually uh, reward people but at least uh, you will find it hard to you know uh, meet the expenses but otherwise uh, at these at these times you can actually you know, I would, uh, the student Armin Arfan, right? He was asking, uh, what happens if I, if this uh, pandemic situation is over? How do I handle the situation? Uh, you know, uh, as let's uh, like Kasim sir was saying, uh, this uh, could be a boon than a curse because uh, you have an option of inviting anybody in, across the globe for the event. Uh, the ME Engineering College released the newsletter with art and chair, art and director. <laughs> uh as a chief guest and uh that can happen but when it comes to so there's no you know, budgeting involved and, and the only thing that uh, you know, take care would be uh, for an online event uh, most of the time only one or two could be enough to organize the whole or coordinate uh, uh, you know orchestrate the whole event but when it comes to physical events that may not be sufficient so you need to uh, keep communicating with your team members over phone or any other more so that they are all always involved in the activity and with connection to the participation <coughs> i know it's not just a matter of students even with the professionals if you uh, organize an event it's very hard to find out participants for the event because it's, nobody wants to hear to and nobody actually likes listening to somebody else that's how it goes nowadays but you know uh, a phone call just before the event uh, personally i can you know entrust somebody to do that and a personal phone call actually makes a difference you can do a personal phone call to a person, uh, you know, somebody who, who would be interested and then ask him to join. Uh, he wouldn't be able to, you know, uh, deny that. And he will actually join the event. And he, so most of the time, they'll be uh, with your team and uh, make sure that you do appreciate somebody who joined the meeting or at least uh, mentioned by his name uh, within the meeting so that he actually retains or, you know, keeps in the meeting for some time. So those things are you know, some tips to actually keep people alive in meetings and you know, in activities. Uh, that's my from my side. Okay, thank you, sir. Uh, so we are with short of time, and the, since we are overshooted the time, we'll take all the questions offline and uh, we will share it. I think it's uh, on time, and I think we can have a quick photograph and we can move on to auto tanks. So over to Iron. Okay, uh, so I would like everyone to turn on their cameras for a photo to commemorate this event. Uh, Thomas, would you like to take over? Sure, Aaron. Uh, participants, if you could all switch on your cameras, it'd be great. Thank you. Uh, it'd be great if you could all switch on your cameras now. We have a quick picture to commemorate this great session. I'd like to thank all the panelists as well for the amazing advice they've given us. Shankar sir, uh, could you switch on your camera as well? It's already on, I guess. I can see myself. I no, don't know. It's Shankar, uh, yeah, uh, you are not visible for us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Shankar, you are not visible. Maybe network issue or bandwidth issue? Shankar sir, is a key person, sir. so you try. <laughs> sir, it seems that your bandwidth is low, sir. I've mm. seen the warning now. Yeah, yeah. Ah, uh, yeah, warning also. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Okay, done. So, so shall we go ahead? Yes. Okay, yes, please go ahead. Please go ahead. Please go ahead. Okay, sir. Thank you. Uh, so here we go. Three, two, one. I to play. I to play. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Have a good day. Thank you. Okay, so now I would like to call upon Alina to deliver the vote of thanks. 
so thank you all uh, it was a really informative and inspiring panel. Overall, it gave us an idea about IEEE volunteer leadership. Now, I would like to express my sincere gratitude on behalf of Renaissance 2.0 team to all the panelists and the moderator. Thank you so much for accepting our invitation and joining with us today and giving us this wonderful session. We would like to give a virtual moment to the moment moderator and the panelists as a token of gratitude for the valuable time you spent with us. So first of all, I would like to thank Ms. Sharada ma'am. Even though she couldn't make it up, uh, she was a really great inspiration and constant support for us and the IEEE. And next, I would like to thank uh, Kasim sir. Thank you sir for sharing your IEEE volunteer ex experience and your journey. It was really inspiring for us. You're welcome. Next, I would like to thank Jilesh sir for your words and your inspiration for networking and advancing technology. Thank you, sir. For sure. Thank you, Biju sir, for giving us your thoughts on getting multiple roles in IEEE fields and rather than sticking on one or two roles, uh, exploring IEEE. Thank you, sir. Welcome. Yes, thank you, Shangar sir, for moderating this panel discussion. And uh, thank you for sharing your thoughts on IEEE volunteering. Thank you, sir. Okay, thank you, Alina. Next, thank you, Josh ma'am, for giving your inspiring words for the young student leaders for upcoming in their IEEE volunteering. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, Alina. Next, thank you, Anu ma'am, for sharing your thoughts on this uh, uh, volunteering experience and also uh, your mentoring uh, experience. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you. Thank you, Sean, sir, for giving your ideas of skill development sessions of bringing in the IEEE sessions. Thank you, sir. Welcome. The so last but not the least, thank you all the participants for being for this session and actively participating for this panel discussion. Thank you all. Okay, bye. 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 Okay, thank you all. Thank you. That's a feedback form. That's what please fill in the feedback form. Thank you. Uh, thank you all and bye. Thank you, sir. Yeah, bye.